My name's Liz McDermott. I'm an author, a poet and a writing mentor. And in the past, a photographer and an educationalist. My latest book is He Is Not Worthy. I was watching a thriller, which I often do, on TV, and it was all about a stalker. And as usual, he was made out to be really evil, horrible, violent, and I really wanted to write, I began to think about writing a story where the stalker wasn't such a horrible person, he was just somebody who was incredibly obsessed with another person. And so that was the starting point of my story. As I've just said, um, stalking was the first bit and Ben is the stalker. We, the readers, know he's the stalker, but the person he's obsessed about doesn't know who he is. Now, the other person is called Ree. Uh, she's a head of art in the secondary school, and she falls for one of her sixth form students. I wanted to explore the thing about people falling in love with whoever they fall in love with um, and age differences. So falling in love with your student whilst they're in school with an 18 year old is not actually illegal. However, it is immoral because you're supposed to be in loco parentis in place of their parents. So, you know, falling in love with somebody and having an affair with them isn't quite right. However, once they've left school, even at 18, that's not that bad. And actually, the distance, the age difference, difference between 18 and 22 isn't very much. I am interested in this because my husband is 12 years younger than me. We've been together for 29 years. It works, even though some people look at us and think it's not quite right. Um, look at a famous person and President Macron. His wife is 25 years older than him and she met him when he was 15. So. You fall in love with the person you fall in love with. And that's really part of the story. So the main characters are Ben, Josh is the boy, and Ree, the teacher. And there are other characters, but they're the three main characters. I love the fact that I can be as creative as I want. I can create places, the locations I'm writing about, the people and the characters. Um, you could even make up different language if you want to, but it, you've got the rain, the free rein to play and express yourself in any way you like when you're writing. Um, obviously, the same story could be told by somebody else, but it would be in a completely different way to the way I'd see it. So that's what I love about it. And I find it really relaxing once I get going. I walk around with an idea in my head for ages before I actually start to write. And then again, the characters sometimes just take me off on their little way. Uh, so it is, it's fun. My advice would be do it. Because so many people I meet say, oh, I want to write a book or I have started writing a book, but I just keep going back over it because I'm not happy. And I've met some people that have been writing a book for years and years and still haven't done anything with it. I started writing seriously in 2017. That was my first book um, of fiction that I published. And I've written several different genres since. This is my first novel at the age of 70. And I want to keep writing. So it's never too late to start. Just start writing and enjoy it. You can buy it on Amazon or on my publisher's website, which is silverwoodbooks.co.uk. Thank you. Mm -hmm.